the orphanage of Childrensville, or the town of Childrensville, this is kind of a remake, has a new orphan named Curly Johnson. Curly was six years old and the most ugly girl Yellow Ball had ever seen. Geez, what a freak, he thought, but she thought Yellow Ball was cute. But no one liked Curly because she was so ugly. Curly longed for a partner, someone like Yellow Ball. But every guy puked at the sight of her. Curly was so sad that one night she wished on a star to be beautiful. Then, the next morning, BAM! She was gorgeous! She hopped out of bed and her nightgown instantly transformed into a cute dress and her hair curled up into a cute hairdo. She tried to put on her glasses but her vision was now blurry with them on. Now seeing that she didn't need them, she flung them away and skipped the school. Now there was a young and dance coming up that night. And Curly was determined to go with a good date. But before she could take another step, a boy appeared to her. He told her that she would become normal again at midnight unless she kissed her true love's kiss. Curly agreed and headed to get ready. Later, at the dance, all the kids were discussing why Curly's name was Curly even though her hair wasn't curly at all. When Curly showed up, she was the most beautiful girl anyone had ever seen. Suddenly, a young boy stepped through the line of youngins. He smiled at Curly and took her hand. May I have this dance? he asked, his eyes sparkling. You may, Curly said. So all night the two twirled and danced, until it was almost midnight. Then slowly he began to lean towards her. But as her and his lips just barely touched, the clock struck midnight. Suddenly Curly was wrapped up in a magical wave. It washed over her, taking her beauty with it. Curly looked at herself. Her vision was blurry. Luckily, her glasses were in her nightgown pocket. Curly sighed. Everyone was staring at her now. Oh, I hoped you wouldn't see me like this, all freckly and buck-toothed, Curly said to her date. I guess you want to run away and puke, right? What? Never, he said. Curly turned. And only to see that he had changed, too. The boy now wore rags and had huge ears that stuck out a lot, and his face was sprinkled with freckles. And on his face was a big grin. He smiled happily at her. Did you wish on a star, too? By the way, I'm Parker, he said. He was as ugly as her. He leaned over to her and kissed her. She blushed. I guess even ugly people find true love. Or at least friends, Parker said. And they both laughed. The end. Oh my god, I'm so sorry for the condition of this notebook. I'm so sorry. Like, it must have been really confusing because, like, the pictures overlap on each other. Anyway, that was kind of, like, I tried to remake it into something else, but it didn't really work out well, so. Yeah, but that's my second children's real story I'm put, I put up now. I'm sorry about the condition of the notebook. I hope you guys understand. Anyway, this has been Squiggle Girl Productions. Like and subscribe and let me know what you thought of the story. Peace.